TxDOT de-icing trucks are starting to move out across the area. And they'll be working all night long. KXN's David Scott was there when they were loaded up. David? It's quite a laborious process. They started early this morning. TxDOT has got 50 trucks for the Tri-County area, and they are locked and loaded. And here's why. Just take a look at that yellow sign to the left. Watch for ice on bridge. They're starting right now, treating the roads in San Marcos. They're going to wait for the rush hour to end in North Austin, and they'll begin there and work their way up to Williamson County after 8 o'clock. Now, they carry magnesium chloride to melt the snow and ice. They also have sand to help traction. The last time we had action like this was February a year ago. It's impossible to exactly predict where and when the snow or ice will come and go, but they anticipate it working all night and try to have things clear for morning. Their first priority, flyovers and bridges. And after that... The big roads, Interstate 35, US 183, US 290, Loop 1, 360, all of your major arterials. That doesn't mean that uh, at the expense of the smaller roads, but the areas that carry the, the heaviest burden of traffic uh, and commerce will, will be treated the most aggressively. Pay particular attention to elevated structures because they, they will freeze first. If you see frozen precipitation, you're going to see it on the bridges and the overpasses. Now, TxDOT is urging everyone to take it easy, take it slow, plan with a little extra time, and do not tailgate. I hope the fellow behind you doesn't tailgate either. David Scott, KXAN Austin News.